Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Nau mai hara mai, and welcome to Waipapa Tomatoro, the University of Auckland, on this absolutely glorious day, at least for the first half of the day, I'm told. Um, my name is Eric Lithander. I have the privilege of being a Deputy Vice-Chancellor here at the University, and it's my great privilege to welcome you onto the campus and into our beautiful Fale Pacifica for this year's Auckland Trade and Economic Policy School. And I would in particular like to acknowledge our good friends from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, uh, with whom we have been collaborating on the delivery of this program since 2019. And since 2019, we have delivered it uh, in person, online, hybrid, now we're back in person, next year, virtual reality. Uh, I have no doubt whatsoever that, like every, good, like every good educational experience, you will learn as much from each other today as you will from the speakers and the panelists. And I'm so pleased that we were able to bring you into this particular building. I just think this is a phenomenal space in which to talk and in which to listen and in which to learn uh, and I'm sure that it will be very conducive to that during the course of, of the day. The theme of today's policy school is leading trade agreements for sustainable futures. And with COP28 kicking off, is it Thursday next week, on 30th? Um, it is just the latest reminder of the urgency with which we need to incorporate climate and sustainability considerations into all of our work, whatever that might be. And when you add into that urgency geopolitical instability, human rights abuse, injustice, inequality into the mix, then you've got the background for a very complex, challenging, but interesting day, I think, for all of you uh, in the day ahead. I can see from the program that you've got speakers and panelists who are going to provide a really fascinating array of insights and perspectives uh, on where trade agreements and policies are at, what business opportunities are emerging as a consequence, the relationship between inclusive and indigenous trade and leadership, how we can better engage with the public in translating the value of, of trade. And to be honest, if you get through all of that by the closing reception this evening, I think you'll have done really well. Uh, and you'll be well deserving of the food, drink and music that we've got lined up for you later on. I do hope that those of you who are not from the university and maybe are not familiar with the campus, do make sure that you go for a walk, whether it's in the, in the coffee break or in the lunch break. It is scheduled to rain pretty heavily this afternoon, so go out and see the campus um, and, um, and enjoy your day here in Auckland. My sincere thanks to all the speakers, to all the panelists who have agreed to contribute. Before closing, I do want to acknowledge Professor Jennifer Curtin and her team at the University of Auckland Public Policy Institute. Since it was established in 2017, the Institute has established its own influence, not only as a research center, but also as a major contributor to public policy and public policy education in particular through its Masters of Public Policy and its PhD program. Uh, the Policy School is one of the many um, initiatives that the Institute uses which helps the university to have much greater impact on its communities, nationally and internationally. I'm, and I'm really very grateful for the work that, that, uh, that it does. So I'm gonna leave you in Jennifer's very capable hands. I'll invite her to take over and add to my welcome. Have a great, to get, have a great day together. I look forward to hearing how you get along. Kia ora tato. Kei te mihi nui ki a koutou, Eric, for the welcome. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Nā mai, hari mai, ki te whare wānanga o tamaki makaurau. Moria mai, o koutou nāko, o koutou hingi nyaro, o koutou wairoa. Nō reira, nō mai, hari mai koutou. Ko Jennifer Curtin tōko ingoa, kei te waikato e whakatapu au. Nō kirikiri roa a hau, tēnā koutou katoa. So welcome again, everyone, on behalf of the team at the Public Policy Institute, on behalf of Event Services, and our colleagues at MFAT Auckland office, to this, our fifth 
Auckland Trade and Economic Policy School. I'm not going to talk very much. All I need to do is the housekeeping matters. I'm also not allowed to smile very much today and it's not because I'm grumpy or stressed. It's because I've had minor surgery on the inside of my lip. And um, if I smile too much, um, it's just as likely that I'll you know, end up on the floor. So um, I have to give you housekeeping matters. The toilets are to my left in the Pacific Studies building just beyond the kitchen. Smoking is not allowed anywhere on the campus. If you do need to imbibe, you have to go out onto the street, either end here, I'm not encouraging you. Um, and please do not consume refreshments or lunch or anything in this um, special place out here um, on the tiled area of the courtyard. If there's a fire, please make your way out to Wynyard Street, just beyond the courtyard, turn left, walk in an orderly single file fashion because that's the only space there is, to the steps near the business school and up you go. You can buy coffee, good coffee, there's coffee here, but you can also buy good coffee at the Business School Cafe, which is on the same level as Grafton Road. Um, as you might know, some of you, this is our second conference in 2023, and it just runs for one day instead of the usual two. But as Eric said, we anticipate that you will be wowed by the insights presented to you over the coming seven hours. There will be time for questions after the panel presenters have spoken, so please don't be shy. I'm not trying to make this a competition, but the grad group we had in February were amazing with their questions. So, you know, high bar, ready for you to, to get involved as well, um, because that's why we call it a school. Um, we're using voices rather than Slido, and your contributions are very welcome. Um, I think there's gonna be roving mics for you to share. We hope you'll take the opportunity during the breaks and at the reception to talk with our distinguished visitors, our professional experts and each other. And just to let you know that we're recording the sessions so that our Master of Public Policy students can engage with your contributions post-conference. And just to reminder that we are finishing up with a reception from 5 p.m., so don't rush off. However, we do need to clear the room in order to set up the bar tables and the band and we were kind of hoping that the sun would stay, but now I found out the weather forecast from our, my, you know, guru here on my left that it's going to rain. So, in which case, you just need to find shelter wherever you can over here. Um, it, we, we're pretty slick at changing the room. We help the Farley staff with this, and, and it's all hands on deck, and it's done in 20 minutes. So, hopefully, we were going to run on time. The plan is to finish at 4.40 clear out for 20 minutes, come back in and imbibe. So for now, it gives me great pleasure to ask our first group of panellists to come to the front to talk about what just happened and where might we be going next. Kia ora, 